welcome back to my channel this is Steph's Got It and today you already know by the title we have an unboxing Wednesday all right so let's get started this was brought to us by a company that I have previously done an unboxing for they contacted me said they had a new product on the market and they would like to ask me to do another review for them and you may have seen this I think they hit some of the same people that they asked to do reviews last time and I got mine and I am a little behind opening it because the end of the year was pretty tough you have because of the organizations that I'm in more importantly my Relief Society organization I have some end of the year things that I need to look at and reports to get ready and prep for so I said I would probably have this out by Christmas and clearly that didn't happen. So let's get it out today. I am so happy to bring you another product by Victoria's Moon. Yay! <laughs> Victoria's Moon is the product that I reviewed a little while ago for them was a was a diamond painting. This is not a diamond painting though. It is paint by numbers. So I am very excited. I was very happy with my product from paint from Victoria's Moon. I was happy with there was only one or two things that I necessarily wasn't unhappy with, but that could be something to look out for in the future that I passed along. But other than that, I was very happy with my canvas. I've been enjoying working on my canvas very much. And so I'm excited to see this new product that they've asked me to review. So I'm going to go ahead and get you set up on the table so you're focused on this wonderful new product. Best wishes. Enjoy your beautiful life every day. Hold that thought. All right, hun. So let's get this bad boy open. I hope that everyone is having a great week. Oh, I don't need scissors. Okay. I hope that you're having a great week. And I hope that you are looking forward to some great weekend plans. So let's see what we have in here. Is that it? Nope, nope. There's more. And that is it. Yes, yes, okay. And so you can see close up on the box right there. It says paint, DIY paint by numbers. All right. And just like the diamond art box, this is a very good sturdy hard box. Okay. So let's see. Oh, okay flip that back up. So it looks like we have two packages of paint and they are numbered so you know what colors they are. Let's look at that later. So this canvas feels like duck cloth. That's the best I can describe it. It feels like duck cloth. Um, yeah. And you can see there, I think I have enough light shining over here. Let's see. There. You see, kind of like duck cloth. Yeah. All right. So we'll go ahead and break that seal of the tape. All right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. No? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe there isn't. Let's go ahead and grab our scissors. I'm going to cut through that. There we go. And, ooh, let's unroll. Let's see what we have here. There's, oh, I guess that's your instructions. I'm going to go ahead and roll it out and give it a chance to kind of relax for a little. Oh. Okay, great. It's on a foam. What do you call this? <laughs> I just lost my thought there. It's on a foam piece of foam. So put that over there and let's let it lay out. And you can see there are no wrinkles in it. It feels very nice. 
I have some beads on here from a previous unboxing. <laughs> okay, it lays out very beautifully. No problems. The edges look really nice and clean, cleanly cut. No fraying. No chip chops. Let's see. This it's cut fairly straight. Not completely straight, but fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Decent. Alright, let's look at the paper that we have here. So this is the drawing that I chose. And you probably figured it's a mermaid because I like mermaids. Now this is interesting. It is the drawing and it has the numbers on it so you know where to put the paint. See that? Okay. So you can see the numbers on there. Let's see if I hold it up like this. You can see. Alright, you see the numbers? Let's get you closer. Alright, there you see the numbers. I need to shine the light over here. There you go. Okay. So you can see there. You can see the design laying down. So let's turn this bad boy over and see what we have. Wow. Okay. This is a nice size. All right, so there is the painting. Well, let's tilt you down a little so you can see the whole painting. There you go. And you can see right there in the right hand corner is the color chart. So let's bring that over closer. So there are, there's your color chart. There are 22 colors and you can see them each very clearly. And I guess that's the number, the product number of the painting. Oh, let's aim it towards the light. There you can see really good. Some blues and browns and beige. Oh, that's pretty. Kind of an aqua greeny color. Okay. So you can see the canvas, if I get the, the light aimed correctly. The canvas is pretty nice. Let's get this light up. Here we go. Look at that. You can see everything clearly. You can see the numbers clearly. The drawing is clear and you can see that that fabric looks really nice and it's really soft look how it's folding in half like that across my arm it's really soft all right so let now that we've seen the painting it feels nice it's, it's very solid there are no bumps and lumps or anything in it it's not a velvety feel. Like I said, the best I can use to describe it is kind of duck cloth. It's very textured. So let's flip that over. And what's that fabric that you make tote bags out of? Yeah, canvas. That's it. It's a canvas cloth. If I had a roll of cloth that I make bags with I would show you but it's way over there so anyway let's examine these colors you can see that the numbers are clear that's the only one that's handwritten but the rest of them have little sticky sheets with the numbers about a half an inch piece of foam and that's the bottom of each pot so there's a hole in the foam so you get two of these As you can see on that one, there are, there's a, they all have the sticker sheets on them. So we get two of those. And, oh, an inventory key. 
So this is your inventory key. So you can see what numbers you're supposed to have and I don't really know what that row represents. I can tell you I have, oh you should have I guess two number sixes, eleven number, no there is no two five one. I don't know what those numbers represent. It's weird. I only see one pot of twenty-two. Okay, well I don't know what this represents. <laughs> Um, but here is the painting. So there is my painting. She's a mermaid. This is going to be the last mermaid I order. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but there she is. Okay. So there's your... Get my glasses back. There's your index sheet. You get three paint brushes. So you get three paint brushes. Let's see. Uh, open. Eh. So you get one thin, pointy one, a fat, wider one, and then a thicker skinny one okay and they're all the same height about the size of a pencil oh okay the bag had a hole in it all right we'll just stick that through there and you get this these little guys and I would assume these are to hang your paintings with I would think you'd get two but Maybe that's just me. All right. So we're going to, you do, here's the second one. All right. So you get two of, oh, you get two of these little corners to hang it with and two screws to screw it in with. So there you have it, hun. This is paint by number. I'm going to drop that in there. And it is by Victorious Moon. Again, you can see my my painting. She's very pretty. And the inventory sheet, although I don't understand what the, in, the inventory sheet is saying, I will ask them what this means and I will let you know. Because right now it doesn't make sense to me in any kind of way. Oh, shall I open up one of the paint pots for you to see? Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Hold on. Let's pick number five because it's a shade of red and red's my favorite color. So it has two little tabs on it and you put your finger, your index on the bottom tab, your thumb on the upper tab and press against each other at the same time. And voila, there's your paint. It's cold. Yeah, feels like paint. Oh, it dries quickly too. But that was only a dab, so I mean, there you go. <laughs> I am going to do a whip and chat with this product as I do all of the products that are a, a type of art like this. And that's when you'll get to see how these products work, how ease their ease of use or their difficulty in use. So in this box you get the painting, you get the paint, you get three brushes of three different sizes and two hooks to hang, hang your painting by. And if you will join me on a Thursday, we will check out how this product works and if it's something you might be interested in. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you for stopping by the channel today. I'd like to thank Victoria's Moon for trusting me enough to review another one of their products, to be honest and fair. 
and thank them for striving to make good products so that we can have something to review. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go ahead and call that a wrap. And if you'll join me next Thursday, I'll be more than happy to show you. Not Thursday of this week, but Thursday of next week. And we'll try this out and see what it feels like and how it works. With that being said, I'm going to wish you a good day. And remember, if you thought that this video was helpful or something that you enjoyed, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't and or didn't find it enjoyable or useful, you're always free to give it a thumbs down. You do you boo, right? <laughs> I would also like to encourage you that if you haven't yet to go ahead and click that little notification bell so that you can be notified anytime that I upload a video. Hit the notification bell and it will notify you. With that being said, I'm going to say, remember, hun, if you are having a good day, help someone else have a good day. It's the little things in life that matter most. <laughs>